Well, we have a tale of woe today, Tane. It's big, big dangers. What are we going to be talking about? About downsizing, beware. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but before we get to that, Tane, you look absolutely stunning in your yellow t-shirt, and I love the necklace. Thanks, Norm. This is one of the necklaces that you bought me a couple that's, of years that's ago. That's right. I, mm -hmm. have to, I have to butter her up every now and then. And you're looking great in your Pink Floyd t-shirt. Oh, yeah. We'll, and we'll tell. You know what? I was just thinking, Norm, you're almost beginning to run out of your selection of t-shirts. I know. We're going to have to hit these stores and Amazon and try and get some more for you. We need more variety of rock t-shirts. <laughs> Yeah, we do. Anyway, it's wonderful that you are joining us again today. We are so grateful and do appreciate it. And before we get started today, we are going to have some snacks. Oh, yeah. And we have treats today. We, we've got tea. And this video Ooh. is not sponsored by MSC <laughs> Cruise Lines. They just happened to give us these mugs on one of the cruises we did with them and in a goodie bag. Yeah, and do you know what, Norm? We do miss the cruises, don't we? Because we, do. we had some awesome times. And we have Dutch almond fingers, which is Ooh. one of our favorites as a little snack. So yes. why don't you go and put the kettle on and join us and we'll have a good old chat. Yes. Dangers of downsizing. I think, I, I think also, Norm... Um, on the last couple of videos we've been doing, people have been commenting a lot about the rent when they're renting an apartment. And it has very much come to our attention that, yes, we are very fortunate here in Ontario we are. where we have rent control. But what we are saying is if you live in an area without rent mm -hmm. control, if we were living in that area, we would have downsized our home um, anyway, yeah. but we would have bought a smaller home yes. or an apartment or a condo. We we understand that we're in a very uh, unique situation yeah. in Ontario with rent control and that people in the UK and the US don't have that luxury. So mm -hmm. if we were living in your area without rent control, we would definitely yeah. downsize yeah. and buy, buy another home, a yeah. cheaper home, and have the balance of the downsizing to... To invest in stuff, isn't it? Fund our retirement. Yeah, absolutely. So we we just wanted to make that clear that um, we, we are in a unique position and we understand that. Yes. So, Tim, <sighs> there are dangers when you're downsizing. There are because, you know, it's... It, it's this great thing that you're thinking about, Norm. You put your house up for sale. You set a, a high price that you think you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And then what are you going to do? You're just going to wait for buyers to come along. But that has brought along um, quite a few problems recently, hasn't it, Norm? It has. And it's, yeah. it, it's because where we live, uh, in Canada, house prices have virtually doubled in the last five years. So it's been a very hot market, especially yeah. in the major cities like Toronto, Vancouver, Calgary, where house prices were, were increasing by the day. Yeah. We've got to a tipping point now where they're no longer increasing. Because of inflation, you can see inflation in the U.S., in the U.K., mm -hmm. and here in Canada, we're, we're hitting near 8% uh, inflation as we speak. So what's happened now is that the house prices are starting to fall because the interest rates are going up, mortgage interest rates. And as mortgage interest rates go up, people can't afford to buy as big a house as they previously thought. So you see a house price, 18, around $900,000. Yeah, which and is kind of the average price around here at the minute, isn't it? And so you go yeah. and make an offer. The yeah. person accepts your offer. In Canada at that point, once they've accepted your offer, you're bound by a contract to buy it. 
And one thing I should add there too, Norm, is that generally when you're in that position to actually put your offer in, you are already pre-approved by the bank for your mortgage. Mm -hmm. So when you're pre-approved, you're ready to go, you go in and you put your offer. And because you pre-approved, you think this is great. All I need is the seller to say, yes, you've got my offer and we're good to go. But or not, there is a big but, and this really only happens in a falling market. Yeah. So you you offer them the full asking price. Maybe you offer them ten, twenty, thirty thousand over asking to secure the house. Yeah. So this is our house. Remember, Norm, that what we're saying, like say nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand. Yeah. You might have offered nine fifty. Just yeah. Because just, there's lots of people want to buy it. Yeah, just to secure it. You go back to the bank all happy, see your mortgage lender and say, oh, I've got a house, uh, can we do the deal? So the bank says, yeah, congratulations, mm -hmm. we'll send our valuer out to value the house just to make sure it's worth the amount of money that we're going to lend you as security. Well, in a falling market, prices fall and so it, it has been taken two weeks to a month to get a valuer to go out because there were so many house sales. Yeah. The valuer goes out and he says, no, this, this house isn't worth 900 or 950. No. In my opinion, it's worth around 800. So now the bank is saying, we can only mortgage based on a selling price of 800,000, but you've committed to the buyer at 900 or 950. Yeah. So where's the hundred and hundred or hundred and fifty thousand going to come from? That's the shortfall in your mortgage. Um, kind of what's happening too, Norm. Sometimes when this happens to people, they think, "Oh, well, I'll I'll get another valuation from somebody else." So you call another valuer, mm -hmm. and this is uh, this is true because it happened in a very recent case nearby here. The second valuer goes out. And he valued it 80,000 less than the first valuation. Yeah. So now you're looking at 180,000 adrift from your agreed price that, that you put your offer in to the seller. And you're under contract to buy it at that price that you said. So okay. what's been happening is people are don't have the money because no. they're trading up mm -hmm. and they're going for the full valuation because of cheap interest rates. Yeah. So they're having to go back to the seller and say, we can't raise the money because your house has come back as a valuation, 180000 less than what you were asking for it. Will you drop the price? And in a lot, in a lot of cases, they're saying uh, no, we won't drop the price because a few reasons. They looked at this that this is going to fund their retirement, so they want all this money that they're going to get out of the house to fund their retirement. That's right. Or to downsize and buy a smaller property. So chances are they will say no. And they're going to sue you in yeah. court for the money. Here's the problem I'm doing. During COVID, our courts were closed. Uh, they were doing online Zoom yeah. courts. But there's a huge backlog in our legal system now. And so you could be looking up to two years waiting for this case to be heard. And the courts yeah. generally go on the seller's side of things. They, they side with the seller and not with the buyer. But in the meantime, you're in... You're in stalemate for two remember. years. And if you're the buyer, mm -hmm. think about this. You have probably already sold your home before you went looking to buy another one. And so you are obligated to sell your house to your buyer. Yeah. And so now you're homeless. We were <laughs> flabbergasted when we just heard that this is recently going on. And it's um, not just it's one like, instance. No, it's happening all around us in multiple deals. And people are absolutely horrified. All their plans are falling apart. That's right. All their dreams, hopes, aspirations. And the other thing is, we next week will have a, 
the Bank of Canada announce whether or not they're going to raise the interest rates. The oh, speculation God. is that it's going to be three quarters of a percent. And so gonna... this is going to even worsen the situation because the mortgage rates will go up, meaning people now can't buy as much yeah. as they could prior to the uh, next week. And mm -hmm. so basically these house valuations are going to be dropping, but people are still advertising them at pre- yeah, the sort of high prices that they the thought market. their house was worth, wasn't yeah, it? Exactly. And it's so we think this is something really important that we wanted to tell you to be aware of this because so it, yeah. we weren't aware of it. If you're um, <laughs> entering into retirement and yeah. you have the house on the market at the moment to downsize uh, or or just move to another area. Mm -hmm. You need uh, to, to make sure that your seller uh, in their contract, sorry, your buyer, your buyer in the contract has a price uh, valuation condition that if it doesn't meet the valuation uh, from the bank, yeah. that the deal is off. So when you actually put your written offer in, Instead of putting, say, subject to building inspection, which is the norm everybody puts. Well, you, you do you, that as well. No, but I'm saying that's what you in would normally put. That. In addition to that, now put subject. our offer is subject to mortgage valuation. valuation. And that way you could pull out of it. Yes, it's um, the only way. It's the only legal way that you could get out of your tale of woe, isn't it? It is. Wow. So it is a good a good it's, thing to downsize well, or yeah. move uh, in yeah. retirement. We've we've done that. Yes. Um, and we understand the reasons about you buying a condo. Yeah. Or a smaller home, uh, maybe in a fifty-five community. Yeah. So, be careful if you're yeah. in a falling market of house prices, that you don't get caught out with your mm -hmm. potential buyer not being able to raise the funds. That you hope they would. Yeah, because it could just totally ruin your retirement plans, couldn't it? It really could. So anyway, that's our tale of the woe <laughs> for the dangers of downsizing and selling your house in a falling market. So we hope everybody's keeping well. And staying safe. And until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.